Uh, hello. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing another horror stories commentary, but today it's gonna be on Valentine's Day horror story. So, um, before we even get started, I'd like to leave a warning because this story gets very graphic and if you get triggered easily, this probably is not the greatest story for you. So, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just warning you, um, if you're, you're not, yeah, that this is, um, but yeah, this is just, this is just might not be good for you. So, um, also subscribe because, uh, that's really nice and like, cause you're super cute like that. So yeah, let's get into the story. This story starts off on February 12th, 1971, two days away from Valentine's Day. A couple, Patricia Ann Mann, a 20-year-old nursing student, and Jesse Allen McBain, a 19-year-old college freshman, were very deeply in love and just happened to be engaged. Both Patricia and Jesse were good students. They were never late, always followed the rules, and never broke laws. On February 12th, they decided to go to a dance together. Both Patricia's friends and Jesse's brother knew they were going to be out late and didn't worry too much. After the dance, they stopped their car near a lover's lane, which was a common sight in the 70s where couples would like to hang out and have some time alone. Patricia's friends were very worried when she didn't come home that morning. This was very abnormal. Two days later, on Valentine's Day, Patricia and Jesse were declared missing. A search party was started in order to find where they were. Police found Patricia and Jesse's car in the lover's lane where they had been staying. The car was just in the lot. Nothing seemed too odd. All their belongings, like their coat and bags, were in the car, but no Patricia or Jesse. Two weeks later, a man looking for Patricia and Jesse stumbled across a leg in the woods. When he moved the brush, covering the leg, he found Patricia and Jesse tied to a tree with their arms and necks strapped to a tree. The bodies were found right outside of different lover's lane than the other one their car was parked in, which brought up questions of how they got there. Patricia and Jesse were found, but their killer was not. Police at this time had a hard time finding anyone with a motive for kidnapping and strangling the victims to death. Now, 50 years later, the case has still not been solved, though there has been efforts. Since technology has greatly advanced, scientists have had ideas of trying to find the DNA within the rope to find the killer. Hopefully, Patricia and Jesse's killer will be found one day. Um, I know this is probably kind of short, but um, I hope you enjoyed. I felt like I wanted to do like a Valentine's Day horror story because I just thought that would be fun, but like the ones that I was finding were kind of- I felt like there was this one that was just kind of repetitive and I feel like everyone was doing it, so I just wanted to do this. I found it interesting and I really hope that one day uh, Patricia and Jesse's killer will be found. Uh, thank you so much. Have a really nice day. Bye bye.